This video will discuss initial troubleshooting steps that you can take when the developer client fails to connect to your domain or to your MRS. For example, you may be receiving an error that the domain connection has failed as shown here. We will cover what steps you can take to troubleshoot this, and we will also discuss further steps needed if you have enabled secure communication on the domain. In order to troubleshoot this error, the domain and MRS should be running on the Informatica server. You should have the developer client installed to your workstation, and you should have command line access to the Informatica server. We will also need to be able to log into the Informatica admin console. The developer client will connect to three ports on the domain when you log in the node port, the service manager port, and the MRS port. To start, log into the admin console and select Manage, Services and Nodes, and then select the node name in the left-hand panel. Note down the main node port and the port range on this page. In this example, the main node port is 25965, and the port range is 50,000 to 64,000. We next want to find the service manager port. To find it, we must open the node-meta.xml file at the location shown here. The default service manager port is 6006. In this example, the service manager port is 25966. You will see it is listed right after the, the main node port. Lastly, we need to find what port the MRS is running on. You can find this by running info command isp ping domain from the Informatica server. In this example, the MRS is currently running on port 50009. Full usage instructions of this info command can be found in our command reference guide. Now that we have the three ports, we must try to telnet from the developer client workstation to confirm connectivity. You can use the telnet command, or if that is not enabled, you can use curl as shown here. The screenshots give examples of what a successful telnet attempt will return. If telnet fails, then you should work with your networking team to ensure the outbound and inbound connections are allowed on these ports. We should also verify if secure communication is enabled on the domain. In this example, secure communication is set to false, so no further steps are needed. If it were set to true, however, then you would need to add the infotrustor environment variable to your workstation where you run the developer client. And more detailed instructions on this are given in this KP article. For the demo, I am logged into my Informatica admin console and I've selected manage services and nodes and I clicked the node name here. And I see that the main node port is 25965. So I'll go ahead in my notes, write it down. And I will also note down the port range. Now I need to find the service manager port. I have a putty session open to the server and I will just go ahead and cat the node meta file. So we can see it is 25966. Lastly, we want to find the MRS port and I'm already in the directory where info command is, so I can go ahead and run the ping domain command. And we can see that, like before, the MRS is running on this port. And now that we have the ports, I want to verify from my workstation if I'm able to telnet. net. 
and I'll go ahead and use the curl command. And we can see that it is connected. And I would then proceed with testing the connectivity to the other two ports. So 25966 and 50009. Since we already know that those are going to be successful, um, we can skip that. And we would then go to the developer client and test the connection to the domain. And we see the connection is successful. From there, we can go ahead and connect to the MRS and log in. In summary, in order to troubleshoot this issue, we should first find the ports and then verify whether we can connect to them. If there is some issue with Telnet to any of the ports, then we should work with our networking team to ensure that the outbound and inbound connections on those ports will be accepted. If secure communication is enabled, then we would add the InfoTrust or environment variable on your workstation. And from there, we could test the domain connection and log in.